Okay, so I got the little tabs glued on here. Now, the servo, back on here with the tester. Oh, uh, maybe I'll bring you guys a little closer. Huh? You need to come in closer here. Okay, so, now with my tester, I can see that, you know, I gotta make this bigger, but the throw is good there. So, I'm gonna leave everything where it is, and I'll be able to trim this on my flaps channel in my radio when I do hook it up. Okay, so, Get this tiny little screw in that servo horn. Now I see I glued two little wooden blocks to this, right? They supply you with that. Okay. You see? They're on there. And now this goes there. Okay. And we're going to put the screws here. Now this here makes it so that, you know, if you have to ever, you know, people glue servos in um, that's okay. Double side sticky tape. That's good. But you know, I don't want problems, so I'm going to screw these into this wood here. And unless I open this up and take this out, I don't think that servo's coming loose in there. Okay, so now. Okay, I want to get that servo all the way over to the other side. Let's see here. So, it's going in this way, right? My oh my. I see we have serious issues here. This is not going to fit in here. Oh my, oh my. How's that? Okay, so. That will go like that, okay? This is how it's going to fit. You know, it's attached to my flaps right here somewhere, so I'm going to have to line that up. Okay, so get that all the way over there. Got that done for now. Darn. You see, the hardware they've given me is this here. Is my servo too big? Who knows? One thing for sure is. I will need this wire to come out here, right? And, man, it's just too much, eh? I'm going to mark that off. We'll get the um, holes cut, and I'll be right back. So there we see that, okay? Yeah. I just use my Dremel. I had to grind it away a little on each side here, round it off. See? In there. And now this fits just wonderful. Okay, so. I put this down. We will screw this in place. With tiny, tiny little screws. Once I have all this aligned up. Now, we need something straight. Like maybe a ruler. That always is a good thing. ruler we have. So now, you see, I'm going to go straight. I want to have my servo 
or my um you could say connections as straight as possible right now I look at my kit here see what they've given me hmm I have I'm curious here I have quite a few parts I don't know. There's that. There's the plate. Okay, am I ever glad I didn't glue these on? You see why in a minute. Now I have all these control rods here. So. This one will be long enough. Give me these. I don't mind them. A lot of people hate them. I'll lock tight it up good. Make sure this puppy doesn't come loose. But, I'll put this on this. So I'll one of the wash rod. Now, I don't know where our boats. I want my flap control here. Let me just look at what I've got. One, two, three more of those. I guess, since there's no instructions in this kit, it does make it a little challenging to figure out what goes where. I will tell you that, guys. Hobby King, whoever made this. So, am I gonna go on that side? No, I'm gonna go on the other side. Oh, hang on. Maybe not. Let's see it here. Okay, so let's pretend it's on there. And if I'm going to come down here. Okay, yeah. So I'm going to have to go on that side of that. Remember. Thread this on. Now this here we can change to to a um, higher setting. If, um, let's say that the flaps move way too much, then we could put this on a higher, um, move it out up to two. But if it's not moving enough, then I can move it in. Okay. That way. Leaves it so I've got some adjustability on my servo here and my link. Now I'm going to tighten this up quite tight. Right, I don't know if you can see. But after I want it to be able to turn still, I will use, I'll back it off a bit so that this spins just a little bit, eh? I want that to be able to, to, be able to turn. And if it is for the right hole, then I will CA glue that shut. But for now, I'm not going to. Now, you see, this back plate is here. I have the top here, mount here. And this back plate goes in. If I look on here, man, oh man. If I put a back plate on there, that's not gonna be able to go all the way down properly for the flaps. So, but screws too. I'm gonna have to grind the screws off, grind the back plate off, I guess. 
and make a spot for it. But that's just not very nice. That's not very nice. I wonder if I have a different servo horn. One second, let me look.